Hello there, Libra, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. So Libra, we're gonna go ahead and find out what Oracle messages come out for you and what you need to know about your current situation, okay, for Libra. What does Libra need to know about their current situation? So you guys are getting ready for some type of attraction with another and a new situation for yourself. So a lot of you guys just need to honor yourself, take care of yourself. You may be feeling a little lonely or alone at this time. There may be challenges going on, but try to pay attention to what the blessings are in your life at this moment because for some of you Libras, I'm actually, I don't know why, I'm getting six of wands energy coming through. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel a lot of you Libras really are <clears throat> Um, moving up in the ladder of success in whatever your endeavor is as far as career path, uh, soul path, uh, things that are very important to you, whatever you're working on. But there's also something else happening here. I'm, I'm seeing some type of, um, you're attracting a situation and a person to you. So pay attention to what's going on around you. Listen to, um, you know, listen to yourself. Um, and look around and try to stay in the moment, okay? Really try to pay attention to what's going on right at this moment because I feel you guys need to know it's probably gonna happen sooner than you think. Something is attracting itself towards you, okay, Libra? So let's see what else for you, Libra. <clears throat> So Libra, if you find, uh, excuse me, <laughs> this is a general reading Libra. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out the past Oracle messages or SOS readings or pick a card readings. Those are all timeless. Um, you need to drink more water, Libra. There may be something here with um, um, you guys opening up too with your uh, senses and some of your guys' um, spiritual gifts. So make sure you're staying hydrated. This might be a time to really, again, nourish yourself. I was really getting Empress energy and she's looking like the Empress to me. So this is a time to really nurture and take care of oneself. Um, some of you, you know, this might be um, a sign to detox or just to hydrate more, especially if you've been feeling a little, um, a lack of energy, maybe there's headaches, whatever's going on or you know, whatever there might, there's a lot of things that has, that happens when we are getting dehydrated or we're not getting enough water, but also there's something about you guys staying very fluid at this time and just kind of go with the flow. Okay. Go with the flow And this card. What's this? Oh, some of you guys, there may be a situation to see the other per person's point of view. Um, it doesn't mean you have to agree. I mean, you can always agree to disagree, but just try to be understanding because there's some type of blessing or some type of epiphany that you will see. So it's, take some time out if you need to um, and maybe put yourself in another, in another, in another shoes um, and kind of see it from another uh, point of view here. So Spirit's just asking to, that you, again, you don't have to agree, but <clears throat> you can understand. There's something going on with physical um, health right now and taking care of oneself. If you're talking about yoga, some of you guys, you may be inspired to do yoga or there's something that has to do with yoga. But with this drinking water and yoga, I'm still getting more about being flexible, being fluid. A lot of you guys are something that, um, a lot of you guys are getting information from a higher power here. So make sure that your <clears throat> energy um, is being taken care of so you're proper, properly assimilating information that is coming towards you okay and to you what else or i should say into you what else for libra benediction there's some type of blessings here so there may be something, um, you know, that you guys have come to an end to, or, you know, there may be something here with just finding the blessings in a current situation. So Spirit is offering many, many blessings, some type of sacred blessing for you, uh, Libra, in this time of surrender. Again, more about being fluid and, and going with the flow. So I'm seeing you guys really being blessed in a situation, even though it's been challenging because there may be a sense of feeling disbelief about a situation or a person, right? Some of you guys, you might have felt like 
there was some snakes around or a snake type of energy. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Take it if it resonates. Don't worry if it doesn't. But there's something about you guys receiving blessings, especially. I feel a lot of you guys have come really far in your transformation, um, in your growth. And so you're deserving of these uh, great blessings, okay? So just try to stay in the flow right now. Um, what else? And also I'm getting that your sensitivity is, you know, there's your energy is really sensitive at this time as well, Libra. What else for Libra? Um, Libra, I'm getting um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy and also uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming through. Yeah, you guys are getting ready to expand. Spread your wings and so excuse me, soar, and share your message and shine your light. So a lot of you Libras, you do something or have something that really um, impacts others, and it's only going to expand. Some of you guys be open to like new um, opportunities that help you expand here. And yes, Libra, a lot of you guys are getting really emotionally strong and you're just flying or you're about to fly. Show the world what you're made of. This is a time, Libra, to not hold back, especially when it comes to <clears throat> sharing things with others or having something to shine your light, share your messages or share what you're made of. Don't be afraid. What else? And I, you know, I was picking up Six of Wands energy. So yes, I'm seeing you guys really having more influence, popularity, promotions, and acceleration when it comes to your work, your effort, and moving up. What else for Libra? Some of you guys, you're going to get more recognition or rewards or, you know, something of that effect. Stay in the attitude of gratitude. A lot of you guys are really creating a lot of abundance. So pay attention. This gratitude is really being in the moment too, right? Being grateful. So spirit is saying, just harness this energy, find whatever little tiny little thing. If you, you know, if it's hard to find things to be grateful for and just start with that. But I'm telling you, Libra, you have a lot of future blessings that are going to um, be happening here. And so there's going to be a lot to be grateful for. You're going to have more than enough. Um, I, you know, going back to um, Empress energy, I keep calling her Empress here. Look at the, the food. And, and, you know, so there is something here with taking care of physical self. Or also, for some of you guys, <laughs> you might need to change your perspective and see the abundance in all things and change the way we're looking and viewing at things. Um, I am getting Six of Pentacles energy coming through too, actually, Libra. So I feel that you guys, um, there's definitely something happening when it comes to more balance in your finances and also re receiving something that is more in tuned with um, giving and receiving, more reciprocity in a situation, okay? What else? You guys are going to have some, I told you, you're attracting some type of person towards you. Passion and romance await. And if you already have someone, then you're going to be um, really manifesting some passionate um, situation when it comes to a purpose here for you. But a lot of you guys, yes, passion and romance await. So be ready. Take care of yourself. Okay, maybe some of you guys want to eat clean or, or just, or, or introduce more, um, live healthy foods into your diet, whatever it is. What else? Um, I'm, yeah, she's the empress. <laughs> empress is here, Libra. It's you. Prosperity. Look at this beautiful card of prosperity. Remember, we we're talking about gratitude. We we're talking, and I was seeing abundance in this. A gift of money is on its way. Very interesting because I wish I would have said it, but hello, Six of Pentacles energy. I was picking up Six of Pentacles energy. You guys are going to be receiving a gift here. Something is going to 
you know, your finances are gonna be a lot healthier. So just trust that. Your income is increasing. Again, more Six of Wands energy coming through for, I know it's not out here, but it's coming through. Manage your finances with love. <laughs> I'm gonna go back for some of you guys, you do need to see in the eyes of spirit, everything is abundant, right? Don't be afraid if things are up and, you know, kind of go up and down, up and doesn't matter. Stay consistent, manage your finances with love in order to increase it. It's all about increasing, expanding. So I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a lot of you guys being blessed with the work that you do or work that you're about to do here and really having more than enough to share. You're such a leader, a Libra, and there's something really powerful and beautiful about you. So don't be afraid to really show the world what you're made of. Don't hide yourself. And if it means you need to take a little time out to build yourself up again or, or to take care of yourself a little bit better, do it. See this alone time as preparation time. What else? Seek out a mentor or a guide. You guys are on the path of growth here. And take baby steps as you grow and be willing to learn from others. So there's some type of new beginning when it comes to expanding your prosperity, expanding your leadership. And you just need to know that you guys are just beginning. So be patient with yourself. Don't get upset if you don't know everything or you can't figure everything out. You've got a guide. You've got a mentor. Some of you guys reach out. Don't be afraid to find a mentor. You know, when, when you're asking, then the teacher shall show up as well. But a lot of you guys are healers, teachers, guides as well. But it doesn't mean we all know everything. It means we need to open up ourselves to growth, right? So be patient and gentle with yourself. You guys are starting out, starting out um, in this pure form. So I'm getting... Um, <clears throat> fool's card energy coming through here as well because I'm seeing you with this companion on this new journey. Some of you guys, you might feel a little clumsy or not like you, you're just not so sure of yourself in this whole new territory, this whole new area. It doesn't matter. You're meant to grow. You're meant to become exactly what you're destined to become. And that's sharing yourself with the world. What else? time to revel in joy so if you haven't been feeling so joyful I'm seeing a lot of play in your future here so try to do things that put you in the state of joy surrendering for your blessings here um, a lot of you guys just have to know that there's a situation here where you've probably had to dive real deep here in order to come back up and um, be above a situation yeah just trust your intuition here joy is okay joy is attracting itself to you if you haven't been feeling joyful so trust your intuition know that you guys are meant to come into a state of joy and happiness for some i'm picking up a trip or a vacation for some of you guys okay what else yeah take charge of a situation some of you guys, it's just about moving things out and allowing yourself to be very powerful. So for some of you guys, your intuition, taking charge of your own joy at this time. Some of you guys, you might be sitting in the Four of Cups energy where we're feeling disappointed in love or there's just, you know, bored or frustrated when it comes to emotional fulfillment. So take charge and start doing things that make you guys feel fulfilled take little baby steps if you need to because yes you've gone through something okay what else I just said this being gentle with this growth card here um, be kind to yourself and others and honor your gentleness and you know this might be a time to kind of just be careful what you're saying and just speak words of love to yourself and others 
Um, so gentle is the key right now. And I do feel that there's just a very sensitive energy going on right now with you. Um, and you're coming into a, a sense of innocence again. So be prepared, right? Um, I do feel that a lot of you guys are going to be meeting someone um, that brings a gentle touch for you. Okay. And it's very, it's like, it's much needed for you. What else? Yeah, you're safe. So have the courage, really, okay? Fear is an illusion. So set, you need, some of you guys need to set strong boundaries, even with the thought processes. But for some, setting boundaries, right, in order to um, take care of yourself, drinking more water, you know, we got this thing about yoga. There's something about you guys taking better care of yourself or taking care of yourself. Your time is valuable, so don't waste it with, you know, unnecessary people or situations or things set strong boundaries remember this is your growth right this is a new thing for you and you guys are coming into something that you are going to have more control over when it comes to your own happiness <clears throat> what else oh, i've got more you more of these take time from the world <laughs> Spend more time alone and meditate or go on a retreat. That's funny. I was thinking of some of you guys taking a trip or doing something. I mean, we do have this um, intuition card and they are and sitting in the meditation pose. So there's something really important about you guys taking time out from the world, disconnecting from things that could be a distraction, right? And spending some time alone. Um, there's some type of important thing that is coming to you when it comes to meditation and in intuition here. Some of you guys, maybe it's just creating a place for yourself um, so that that's, you know, that's like your area. That's, you know, not for anybody else. And that's your own sanctuary. So that could tie into that making, um, you know, creating boundaries. What else for Libra? What's this funny little card? Oh, <laughs> yeah, look. Are you, you think you're ready? I do. It's all about completion now. You guys are really hitting something when it comes to major success and achievement as far as, I mean, I really see you, some of you Libras really coming and showing yourself to the world and being honored for it. But a lot of you guys, you have to know there's a chapter that is closed and you're ready for a whole new chapter here. Um, very interesting it was like thinking of the the thing about boundaries here and I just want you to see how protected she is okay creating boundaries to keep herself um, from being you know really kind of tainted with negative energies or you know and, and it's not like you know, I'm not gonna say that that's you know we have to do that all the time but there's just something really special going on with you and um, the next phase of your life Libra uh, what was this card Oh, the Four of Cups, I told you. <clears throat> I was picking up Four of Cups energy. You guys are done feeling rejected, unfulfilled, whatever it is, disappointed. You're done. You're done with it. Spirit is saying, this might be a time, too, to not let any um, things undone right now. Try to get things tidied up and, and done. Because you're ready. You're ready to leave this disappointing past behind. What else? And this is your blessing. It's like you guys are going to be really blessed for the, the, a, a job well done, a journey well done here. Water signs showing up. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else for Libra? Yep. You guys are ready for real security in your life you're you're ready for lasting love and some of you guys there is something to do with your home or in your home and and receiving what you need um, again there's improvement in finances so rest assured something is actually 
incubating at this time when it comes to security. Again, you guys are attracting a lot of good things towards you. Stay in the present moment. If you want love, just enjoy the moment fully. Remember, enjoy. Here's joy. Surrender to joy. I know it can be hard at times, but there's more going on than you guys realize. What else? <laughs> I didn't see her upside down. Are these upside down? They are upside down. Queen of Swords, Libra. It's time to really assert oneself create those strong boundaries, make decisions that are good and healthy for you, cut out the BS, allow yourself to see a situation for how it really is. Yes, you've been hurt. Some of you guys have really closed your heart off in a situation or whatever has happened here. Choose your independence, it's important. Some of you guys, it might be important to focus on security in your career right now. Um, but again, there's something about you guys at least making decisions, getting clarity too. It's all about your security and having the confidence in doing so. So I feel for some of you Libras, look at this. I see there may be some type of clarity or truth or communication coming or being able to really see um, from an objective and maybe from another point of other person's point of view and getting that clarity that you need. Stay strong. I mean, look at this. Look at this. You guys are really in your power here. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy coming through. What else? I see you. <laughs> look at this. Take charge of the situation. And look how powerful this Queen of Swords is. She is taking charge of a situation. some of you guys don't know that geez you got these you got the same um, energy and power as Moses if you wanted I do feel some of you Libras have very strong connection to your own religion or religion here <clears throat> self-forgiveness Libra Aww. Mm. let go of guilt and remember Actually, let go of guilt, shame, worry, whatever it is, and remember that you're God's perfect child. Much, t much needed self-care right now, okay? And to really honor yourself and to not look at things as good or bad right now. You just let go of any guilt because you really are God's perfect child. And I was just saying, some of you guys have power like Moses. I mean, really, oh, God really loves you. I'll say it again. God really loves you, Libra. What else for Libra? Yes, God loves you. And yes, you guys are increasing in your prosperity. Some of you guys are doing something and it's working. And you need to know that, yes, it is working. I'm seeing an increase in your prosperity, joy, abundance. I see you guys saying yes to new things. What else? Keep an open mind. It could be, you guys are going to meet someone and it could be the one, really. Keep an open mind because some of you guys, you have to let go of what to expect. Your soulmate may differ from what your usual type and expectations. So release expectations, right? This is all about surrender to joy. So you're not missing uh, an opportunity. There's a, a situation where you guys are going to feel very complete with another. Okay, not that you have to have someone complete you, but that's that sense, right? You've, all, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Some of you guys, you could have met them already. Some of you haven't, but it could be the one. What else? Ooh, we had this thing about self-forgiveness, but maybe there's something about having mercy on another person. I feel that there was a, a person or situation that just lacked 
the knowledge, the experience, their own wisdom that you just might have to just have mercy on and, and also have mercy on yourself. let go of things that don't serve you and again drink more water help you purify these energies as well for some of you guys what else for libra yeah i see you guys doing something when it comes to creating a whole new situation for yourself start saying positive um, affirmations this is something new okay Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. This is part of you taking charge of the situation as well. Creating positive, trying to wake up purposefully in joy, in gratitude, so that your day can be more fluid. What else? <laughs> ground yourself remember spirit did say take some time out right i thought there was a message about that i'm sure there was i swear there was <laughs> anyways yeah sanctuary ground yourself oh my goodness and it even says find sanctuary in nature maybe some of you libras have a very special place place in nature or you want to create something or just go out in nature you really need to connect with the elementals as well um, I feel that you guys really intuitively get inspired um, you get calm and you get centered when you do take those that time out to really ground yourself and again this is part of you guys creating boundaries too don't overgive and overshare yourself at this time it's really important to kind of conserve your energy something new is gonna happen to you Libra and you want to be prepared and energized and um, and ready what else okay that's it for those so let's find out how spirit is helping Libra how spirit is helping Libra <laughs> spirit's so funny how spirit's helping you my goodness and we even have the queen of swords decisions making a decision if you've been feeling stuck or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision I mean really listen to your intuition intuition to make a decision and we have the queen of swords she's a decision maker here Libra you're gonna have a decision to make so Spirit's helping you guys really move forward and not stay in an energy of feeling stuck or stagnant because even being indecisive can put you in the state of stagnation. You guys are going to get an opportunity here and you're ready to leave the disappointing times behind Libra for real security. It's incubating. So get ready. I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.